Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the tech market or tech companies in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, November 17, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are trading above these previous highs here. We're trading at 3,616 at this very moment. And that is, well, not as, a, as good as I expected it because we had another news um, come out about a new vaccine, uh, which is even even better than the last vaccine. So, so, but we did not see the rally that, or I basically didn't see the rally that I expected it. And if a vaccine, if news of a vaccine that is ninety five percent helpful against this disease doesn't ex basically explode this market, then nothing will. And as long as that is the case, I do expect this market to go lower. Uh, we just need something basically simply bad news in order to get this market basically crashing back to the downside. Because, well, this is not a very impressive cattle. We are up not even 1% in a, on, on a day where you are pronouncing a major breakthrough in a, in a vaccine for the coronavirus. So... Let's look at the technical indicators. First of all, Bollinger Band, we are basically at the top of the Bollinger Band. Stochastic, we are flat at this point. CCI, flat. Uh, RSI is quite bullish, and the uh, MACD is quite bullish. So we have indicators that are showing that we are about to turn around. And if we turn around, we are going back, first of all, to, this, uh, to these previous highs here, a 3,550. Then towards the 20 exponential moving average at 3478, and then towards the 50 moving average at 3400. And that is where I think we are going to go in the next few trading days. So if you look at the day David Jones, uh, Dow Jones, we can see that we have rallied quite significantly today on basically the news of the new coronavirus, but we did not break these previous highs or didn't manage to to go above and and stay there we pull back and at this point we are trading at nine uh, twenty nine thousand eight hundred and sixty five um technical indicators if you look at the rsi we are all bought at this point so expect a pullback most likely towards the nine uh, twenty nine thousand level and if that breaks then we'll go towards these previous highs here at, at twenty eight thousand nine hundred so a little bit lower but target here, most likely 27,900 or 28,000. Um, so at this point, technical indicators, uh, RSI MACD is quite bullish. RSI is over a bot and is still bullish. And the CCI is flat, so it's stochastically flat. And the Bollinger Band is basically at the top of the Bollinger Band. So we'll probably stay here. If we see a, 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 a weakness tomorrow or there's some kind of bad news or something like that, expect this market to fall quite substantially. So if you look at the NASDAQ, we can see that NASDAQ has been all over the place today. We are up a little bit, 0 0.32, uh, but it has not had the same reaction as the, as the S&P 100 and the Dow Jones have had to the vaccine and so on. Um, one reason, most of these tech companies did really well under the, the coronavirus. And while most of the companies in the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones did not do very well. So that's where people are going to in order to buy because those companies are looked at as really cheap. So airlines and cruise companies and, and, um, and so on and so on. And not tech companies like, um, like Zoom and so on. So, so, um, that's probably the reason why NASDAQ isn't doing as well as S&P 100 and the Dow Jones are doing at the moment. But we are still trading above the 50 moving average, even the exponential moving average. At this point, we are trading uh, very, or basically grinding higher to these highs of 12,255. Um, 
that is going to be our first resistance. And after that, it's going to be 12,485. Break below here is the 50 moving average will act as a support. And so will the 100 moving average right underneath. Technical units for this are, <clears throat> sorry, fairly um, mixed. Uh, they're all technically flat. So at this point, this is a market that really, doesn't really know where to go if it breaks down or it breaks up. So we need to go to these highs in order to, to, uh, to uh, be able to sell. And we basically need to go as low as the 50 or 100 moving average in order to buy into this market at this point. So if you look at Amazon, we can see that Amazon has broken down uh, quite a lot today, nearly a percent, and now is uh, on its way to these lows, most likely. Technical units for Amazon are all looking quite dreadful. Um, we did not manage to break the 50 moving average, which is a very bad sign for Amazon. But we have the 150 moving average here and this uh, major support area here. So don't expect this to fall too much. They will definitely, it will definitely bounce from this area. Netflix, same thing. We broke down towards the 150 moving average, which was previous uh, support. At this point, we we'll probably go lower. We'll probably go into 466. Um, technical indicators for this are looking quite dreadful. They're either flat or negative. So uh, we need a, pay a positive sign here. And most likely we'll find it when we basically bounce off this very lows. Microsoft, we broke down. But we found support here at the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, we will probably go lower. But, but there's a lot of support underneath. All of these moving, moving average we have to get through, even the 50 moving average. But if that breaks, then we'll go all the way down towards the 150 moving average, all the way down here at 202. So there's a lot of room to the downside. We're only at 52 in the RSI, and these technical indicators are looking very dreadful there for this uh, for this stock. So that may happen, and uh, that is a good opportunity in order to buy. Apple, we have rallied a little bit, but we have found resistance here, which we also did uh, previously. And uh, at this point, we are mostly just going to go back towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for this are mixed. Our CCI is flat, uh, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is flat, MACD is flat. The only room is basically the MACD that is very fairly bullish at this point. So it's nothing lot to do with this. It's uh, it's uh, 0 0.88. Uh, we don't have the same kind of movement as we did uh, several months ago, like here. We are trading sideways and there is nothing really happening. We can enter here and can enter here. Here doesn't make any difference. So the same goes for Facebook. We are in the middle of nowhere. We are trading sideways and we are have the highs here. We have the lows here and we're right in the middle. And that's exactly where you don't want to be. You can go up, you can go down. And uh, that is just, just too much risk to take. Technical indicators are just all fairly flat. There's nothing really um, to say about this other than you just have to wait where this is going to go. So Google has been the best performing stock of these tech stocks the last few weeks. We are starting to trade in within this area here and uh, trading very flat, but it is expected to fall. We are at 71, we are our bot, and the MACD is basically given a sign that we are going to cross. And the first um, target will be these lows and then the 20 exponential moving average. Uh, Will be actually fantastic we're going all the way down to the 50 moving average in order to buy this but um, this is going to go lower um, at some point so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button hit the like button the bell button in order to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon uh, if you want our signal service and you uh, will also get access to our full technical analysis so good luck and thank you very much